to denounce and condemn in the strongest terms possible the action of the powers that be to have deployed heavily blocking the constitutional right of the Generation Z and the millennials that had mooted this good idea uh, of uh, demonstrating against uh, the wanton corruption uh, that this country is wallowing in. Having been inspired by their colleagues in the neighborhood of Kenya, we as opposition were all uh, throwing our weight behind them to come out and uh, peacefully demonstrate, which is a uh, constitutional right. Uh, but uh, that the powers that be have uh, uh, deployed heavily to block them. If you go, can you imagine, even in Bali, which is so many miles away from the parliament of the Republic of Uganda, the streets are like a barracks, equally here. If you see, there are certain uniforms of the forces which I had never seen. They are all on the streets and around the parliament, and even inside the parliament. Even as I am being interviewed by you, it is under duress because this I have not been allowed to hold the interview in my space where I serve in the parliament. I'm outside the precincts of parliament. I'm even worried someone could knock me because I'm standing in the middle of the road. But all this, because the powers that be President Museveni has refused to accord the fight against corruption, the silver bullet. The silver bullet should have been political will. We saw it in Tanzania. Just a five-year presidential term was enough for the late John Joseph Pombe Magufuli to nip corruption in the bud because he demonstrated by word and deed that corruption is evil and corruption must be fought, and indeed he decided and fruits were seen. You saw the economy of Tanzania elevated from wherever it went to a middle income status within just a five-year presidential term. Here it is merely paying lip service to the fight against corruption. I have even heard, and it is ridiculous, that the president has come out, and that's President Museveni, in his usual uh, characteristic style that uh, the fight is now very serious and now is also joining the Generation Z and uh, giving them a, a full day, a Sunday. And this time around, they should, they should demonstrate uh, in, in Kororo, but under heavy uh, uh, security. All, all, all this is laughable because this is not what these young men and women have come up with. I must salute the Kenyans, the Kenyan youth, the Generation Z, plus the millennials, 
who have uh, who, who initiated them uh, the implementation of this constitutional provision of demonstrating against the evils they did it and it has inspired uh, not only the entire Africa but also our own Ugandan youth and this is just a beginning and I don't think uh, this fear that uh, the powers that be have uh, shown by deploying to block them will help matters. It is like you are blocking River Nile. It will not fail to find a way out. And when it finds its way out, it, it, the, matter, the results will be uh, disastrous. So they are actually he headed for serious trouble. I'm going to go to the hospital.